Hello friends, welcome back to Kaya TV. So today I am making aloo paratha. So here I have taken around 7 to 8 medium sized potatoes which I have already boiled and I have grated them. So to this I am adding 4 green chilies. Green chilies is optional. If you don't want then you don't have to put it. To this I am going to add in one large onion which I have already chopped and one thumb sized ginger and uh, some coriander leaves. Now we are going to season this. Now I am going to add in about half a tablespoon of jeera powder. This is homemade jeera powder. Please don't add in the packet ones that is available in the market. Now I am going to season this with some salt. Also going to add in some Now with the help of lukewarm water, I am going to knead a dough. Now that the dough is ready, time to roll the parathas. I am going to take a small portion and make a ball. Now this dough is going to be extremely sticky so you need lots of loose powder to roll it. Now keeping that aside and I am going to dust the ball well in this loose powder. Now very light handedly I am going to roll this. You need to make sure that it's even. Now I finished rolling the paratha. And my tawa is also hot. Now I'm going to place the paratha on the tawa and I'm going to let this roast well. It's only after the paratha is almost 70 to 80 percent done that I'm going to grease some oil on top and then we are going to finish it off. I'm also going to keep this in a casserole so that the steam ensures that the paratha remains soft so now I'm going to apply some oil you can also use ghee if you like so brushing it on all sides and then I'm going to flip it over so as you can see there are brown spots so this is exactly what we are looking for so with the help of the with the help of a spoon the back of a spoon i'm going to press it especially on the outer ends so flipping it pressing it and cooking it on medium to low heat so that the paratha cooks perfectly So just ensure that the heat is not too high or else only the outer side will start burning and your paratha will remain raw.
So friends, our paratha is ready. I've served this with some mint chutney and some homemade dahi. If you like this, then please like our video and please subscribe to our channel.